This is Drosera manii. And this one's Drosera natedula. So it's autumn at the moment, um, and they're starting to form GMA. You can see at the center of the rosette there in the Lake Badger hybrid. Uh, this is Occidentalis. It's also starting to form GMA. So GMA are the uh, way of uh, asexually reproducing. So some of them will produce seed. Uh, they'll self-pollinate but most of them gemme is uh, the easiest way to propagate them so this is uh, rosiana there's a lot of gemme you can see there and again a lot of gemme being formed here each rosette can form like 50 or, or something like that um, especially these Pygmaea, they form a lot of gemme. So the way that I grow the gemme is just lay them on the surface of the uh, silica sand, cover the pots in glad wrap and keep them uh, humid. This is scorpoides, it's uh, 12 centimeters high, so it's, it's a pygmy, but it's actually quite giant um, compared to all others. You can see the gemme again there in the center of the rosette. So this is about four, five years old. Um, I've had to sort of support it a bit. And this is a macro shot of the gemme. So each one of those will quickly grow into a new plant, but it'll be identical to the to the parent plant. This is a pygmaea green form from the North Island, Kaiiwi Lakes. And this is Scorpoides, just a close up look at the, the leaf. Each of these pygmies is, is like I don't know, like a gem or something. They're, they're really amazing to look up, up close. Unless you're an insect. <laughs>